Where do you think you're going, Missy? I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. What's going on here? What's it to you, boy? Piss off. Hold on. I've seen them around. They're in and out of House Four Tom's Manor all the time. Oh, I see. Skulking about at your highborn master's bidding, eh? Bloodhounds hoping to catch a whiff of heresy, is that it? You are quite mistaken, I assure you. We came here to help. And if you know what's good for you, you will let us pass. Haha! <laughs> Listen to the pups yapping. Come here, boy. I'll give you cause to yelp. Enough! Leave threatening women and children to our betters. We don't have the knack. Hilda! Lay a finger on the Blue Blood's pups, and you're like to lose the hand. And often I get called on by glorious heroes like yourself. So tell me, what have I done to deserve you? So, while you're on your way to kill Nidhogg, you stumbled on some dirty secrets that the Holy See has been hiding for centuries. Eh? What are they on about? The High Houses. And what makes a nobleman so bleeding noble? They trace their blood back to King Thorden and his Knights Twelve, the founders of Ishgard. But our friends here reckon we're all descended from the heroes of Eld. Highborn and lowborn alike. And so Sir Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, has gone to ask the Archbishop if he wouldn't mind letting everyone know. Is he simple? The old bastard will have him executed for heresy. Well, 
Seems to me that's what the good sir wants. Seems he thinks a noble sacrifice will serve to prove his claims. We cannot stand idly by and allow Sir Emmerich to do this. Ishgard has need of him. Look, you've a good heart, I can see that. Willing to risk your neck for someone else even when his troubles ain't yours. But what's this got to do with me? If Sir Emmerich is imprisoned in the vault, we will need all the help we can muster to breach their defences and rescue him. What in the hells?! Ah, the unmistakable scent of heresy. And what do we have here? The honored guests of House Four Tom consorting with the Queen of Rats. Plotting insurrection, I shouldn't wonder. That won't do. Sickness is wont to fester and spread. It must be burnt out ere the infection takes hold. I reckon Sir would be happy to wield the irons himself. Well, so happens. I've got irons of my own. Such simple creatures, rats, certain to attack when cornered. Let us step outside, my lady. In here, your toys could hurt someone.
There's no denying your gifts. A well-deserved reputation indeed. Enough! Lucky bastard. Nay, tis we who are lucky. Had we fought on, t'was but a matter of time before our conflict claimed the life of an innocent bystander. I thought the Heaven's Ward might come here as well. They came to the Temple Knight's headquarters. Aye. Sir Grino announced that the Lord Commander had been imprisoned under suspicion of heresy, and that the Heaven's Ward had been granted full authority in his stead. Then the Heaven's Ward now commands the Temple Knights. Those still loyal to Sir Emmerich answer to me. Alas, that amounts to but half our number. The other half, who opposed his promotion to Lord Commander, have gathered at the Vault as ordered. Bolster in the Guard already, eh? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were expected. I take it you're in charge around here? Hilda, and yes. The young master was just persuading me to join his lost cause. Convincing little beggar, isn't he? I, your passion moves me. A bit. That and the fact that we're sick of living off the leavings of our best. If you've a mind to change things around here, then we've a mind to join you. Thank you.